Welcome to Battery Hacker. To recharge a 12-volt, 100-ampere-hour lithium battery, you will need around 400 watts of solar panels. But how do we actually figure this out for different battery sizes or for people living in different locations? In this video, I'll walk you through the calculation process in three simple steps. And at the end, I'll also share a wiring diagram with component choices so you can see how everything connects in a real setup. I'm your host, Michael, from Battery Hacker, and if you're ready, let's begin. The first step is to change the battery's rating from volts and ampere hours into watt hours. Watt hours tell us the actual amount of energy stored inside a battery, regardless of voltage. That's why this calculation method works for 12 volt, 24 volt, and even 48 volt systems. Here's an example. A 12 volt, 100 ampere hour lithium battery has a nominal voltage of 12.8 volts. 12.8 volts. Multiplying 100 ampere hours gives us 1,280 watt hours. Now let's compare a few other cases. A 24 volt. 100 ampere hour lithium battery equals 2560 watt hours. A 48 volt, 100 ampere hour server battery equals 5120 watt hours. A 12 volt, 100 ampere hour lead acid battery equals 600 watt hours, since only 50% of its capacity should be used. This conversion is the base for all of our next steps. The second step is to find out how many sun hours you get in your area. This number depends on both your location and the time of year. For example, in Houston, Texas, the lowest average sunlight is in December, where you get about 3.5 sun hours per day. Now, what exactly is a sun hour? One sun hour is defined as 1,000 watts per square meter. So, if the sunlight shines for 7 hours, but only at 500 watts per square meter, that still equals 3.5 sun hours. This shows that sun hours are not the same as the total number of daylight hours in a day. To check the sun hours in your own location, you can use the PV Watts website. Just enter your details, and it will calculate it for you. And by the way, only a small percentage of viewers who watch my videos are subscribed. If you find this helpful, consider subscribing. It's free, and it really helps me continue making content like this. Now it's time to combine everything we've learned so far. From step one, we know that a 12-volt, 100-ampere-hour lithium battery has a capacity of 1,280 watt-hours. If we want to recharge it fully in just one day, and we assume 3.5 sun hours per day, then the formula looks like this. 1,280 watt hours divided by 3.5 sun hours equals 365 watts. But real systems are never 100% efficient. Both the charge controller and the lithium battery operate at about 95% efficiency. Together, that works out to roughly 90% overall efficiency. To correct for this, we apply a factor of 1.11. So, 365 watts multiply by 1.11 equals 400 watts of solar panels. This means that two 200-watt solar panels would be enough for this setup. If you wire them in series, the installation is simpler. But if you're installing them on a camper, RV, or in an area where shading is possible, parallel wiring is usually better. Next, let's look at the charge controller requirements. To calculate this, we take 400 watts divided by charging voltage equals 27 amperes. So, a 30 ampere charge controller will handle the load without any issue. Now, for the input voltage. Since our two panels are wired in series, the voltage values are added together. The formula is number of panels multiply by open circuit voltage multiply by 1.25, safety factor. With this calculation, 
we get about 60 volts. For this setup, a Victron 130 ampere charge controller, priced around $123, would work perfectly. For wiring, if the distance between the solar panels and the charge controller is about 40 feet, you'll need a 10 gauge solar cable, which costs around $60. Don't forget protection. A 40 ampere fuse mounted on an MRBF fuse block along with an 8-gauge welding cable, will keep the system safe and reliable. Let's take a look at how this formula works for larger battery banks. Suppose you have four server rack batteries with a total storage of 20,000 watt-hours, 20 kilowatt-hours. If you want to fully recharge this bank in a single day, here's the calculation. 20,000 watt-hours divided by 3.5 sun-hours equals 5,714 watts. Now we adjust for system efficiency by multiplying with the correction factor. 5,714 watts multiply by 1.1. One equals about 6,400 watts of solar panels. So, for a 20 kilowatt hour battery bank, you would need roughly 6,400 watts of solar panels to bring it back to full charge in one day of sunlight. This same method can be applied to any battery size. Just plug in the usable watt-hour capacity and divide it by the sun hours for your location, then account for efficiency losses. Let's check the numbers for a 12-volt, 100-ampere-hour lead-acid battery. Since only 50% of its capacity is usable, that gives 600 watt hours. Now divide by 3.5 sun hours is equal 170 watts. After adjusting for efficiency, about 85% overall, we multiply by 1.18. 170 multiply 1.18 equals 200 watts of solar panels. So to recharge this lead acid battery in one day, you need about 200 watts of solar. But remember, its usable capacity is only half of a lithium battery, so to match lithium storage, you'd need two of these. If you don't have solar panels and you're using a battery charger, here's how to estimate charging time. Take a 12-volt, 20-ampere lithium charger. It delivers about 240 watts of power. Our 12-volt, 100-ampere-hour lithium battery has a capacity of 1,280 watt-hours. Now divide. 1,280 divided by 240 equals 5.3 hours, around 5 hours and 20 minutes. So that's how long it would take to recharge with this charger. Do you have any questions? Drop them in the comments so we can all learn together. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.